proof that coverings do not cover the soul or spirit. Good job. What? What type of backhanded compliment is that? And if you're wondering what the person was talking about or you just don't understand the context of his compliment, well, that makes two of us. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, nice to meet you. Consider subscribing to join our family because today we have a pretty serious topic to talk about. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Now I know we as human beings are all different and we all like and are attracted to different things. But one thing that is common with people, irrespective if you're black, white, Asian, or Hispanic, is we all love to receive compliments from time to time. It doesn't matter if the compliment is about how we look, our clothing, how we sound, our accent, or in this case, even our skill. Everyone just loves to be complimented. Compliments are encouraging and make us feel undeniably validated. But what people do not like at all and find problematic is when people give backhanded compliments or just compliment people and follow that up with a snarky remark that just disregards the previous compliment. So take for instance, you're an artist and you post your work on say Instagram or better still Twitter. Since Twitter is the breeding ground of problematic and toxic people far much more than Instagram and then someone just replies with, hey nice drawing but I think you'll do much more better at maths or something in that nature. Yes, at first it's a compliment, but the next set of words that came out of the person's mouth literally just equate to this. Which kind of ties into the topic of today's video. An artist posted a set of images on Twitter with the caption, I owe Avatar the last airbender for teaching me how to draw when I was 16. Plain and simple. Yesterday, my Avatar short story came out for free comic book day. If I was able to help one kid learn to do Avatar characters too, it's all worth it. Which is such a wholesome and inspiring thing to do since basically her wishes for her art to motivate other kids to draw and further develop their skills just like she did when she was younger. And everyone in the comments were just showing support and congratulating her for literally working on a dream project and achieving such a milestone that is sought out by many other artists. And I miss all of the people showing support and leaving honorary remarks. Honorary... <laughs> honorary remarks. An unknown Twitter user had this to say, proof that coverings do not cover the soul or spirit. Good job. What? What type of backhanded compliment is that? And if you're wondering what the person was talking about or you just don't understand the context of his compliment, well, that makes two of us. In the comments, they mentioned coverings, which I'm guessing they're referring to the clothing she's wearing and more specifically, the hijab she has on since it covers a good portion of your head and face and sometimes your entire body depending on the length and style of the hijab and is a staple in any female muslim's wardrobe now i'm certain the person who left this instagram comments may have meant for it to pass across innocently i really didn't put too much thought into it but it just didn't come off the way they must have expected so let's just take a moment to see what the artist thought and then i can explain why it is such a weird compliment and how you can go about not making compliments like that. So immediately the artist saw the remark, she quoted it, blurred out the person's name and said, this is not the compliment you think it is. And she was immediately met with various replies from people who agreed with her and other people who had an argument and thought she was wrong and should have just accepted the compliment and moved on. Oh my god, why can't you just accept something with good intentions? What's wrong with you people that you can't recognize that someone is doing the best they can with what they have? That person is on a different level of growth than you. Stop shitting on them for trying. Kind of a weird way to state your opinion while attacking the other person, but okay. I'm assuming you said something like this before because all she did was point out that this was not a good comment to offer someone. How the can that person on a different level of growth than her actually grow if they're never told they made a mistake? Pointing out behavior that is common and makes you feel bad isn't shitting on someone who is on a different maturity level. Hopefully other people realize these types of compliments are offensive. 
It's okay to call out discriminatory remarks, even if they're intended as a compliment. This is such a good reply, but then they go back and forth arguing if what she did was right or wrong, and if the basis for the artist's statement was true in the first place. And since we cannot certify if the person who left the comment is Muslim or not, we can only judge from the comment itself that the person is probably not a Muslim. And since they're not Muslim, they may likely not know what can and cannot be offensive to a Muslim even if they meant it as an innocent compliment. This person also replied to the comment and explained a little bit further saying, just because something is sent with good intent doesn't mean they can't be corrected and that the other person is obligated to accept it. They're not on a different level of growth. One person is Muslim, the other person is probably not. And then they corrected them. Now, as you can see, this is quite a serious topic, especially since religious profiling isn't nearly as common as racial profiling, but in most cases can also be used as a tool to bully not just artists, but other people on social media as well. So clearly it cannot be avoided and will continue to happen one way or another. Since artists have to share their works on various social media platforms to gain a following or just garner support and then drive that traffic to their website or personal project. But how can you even send traffic if you don't have a website in the first place? Which is precisely why you need Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. Now unless you're some type of web designer or you have some experience doing back-end coding and whatnot, creating a professional website can be quite challenging to say the least. But Squarespace literally makes it so easy that you can create your own professional website from scratch. Squarespace gives you a number of templates to choose from and you can edit them how you want, change the colors of each of the elements and just move things around to your liking. Squarespace is given a free trial for you to try out building a website for yourself. So head over to squarespace.com slash Mohamed Akbadi to start your free trial and use code Mohamed Akbadi to save 10% off your first purchase. Links will be in the description of this video. Sarah Alpha G is a female Muslim artist and illustrator out of Boston. She is the co-creator of Squire and the creative director at a studio called Play Multiverse that specializes in online tabletop and RPG games. And she also has a Twitch channel where she streams gameplay from time to time. But can we just take a moment to appreciate how incredibly pretty her art is? Like gosh, her art is absolutely really really pretty. The composition in all of her illustrations is just mind-blowing and she has a very good eye for choosing and using colors in all of her illustrations. Can we just appreciate the colors in her work? Like gosh, it's so good. The art in the Cora art book, which was in the tweet that she made that started all this, is absolutely phenomenal and you can find the book on Comixology where you can read it online since it's free. Her art is really good and I'm happy for her as well and truthfully I guess the person who left that snarky remark was happy for her just like everyone else in the comments. But they probably just didn't think their comments will come off insultive or offensive to a Muslim, especially since they didn't choose their wording properly. Someone in the comments also tried to explain this saying, see it's hard for white people to understand that Muslim women are able to create or think even though they wear the most hated clothing in western society. I am so sorry that you have to go through this, sister. Now there's quite a lot to unpack here but we'll get to that just in a second. First off, it should be a no-brainer that religion has nothing to do with your skill as an artist and if you're bad at art, changing your religion is not automatically going to make you any better. Then if you're a really good artist, I'm pretty sure your religion has nothing to do with why you're improving and just getting better. If not, we will see a high number of reverend fathers who are ridiculously skilled at art. Second, your race doesn't determine if you understand Islam or not, which is my major pick from the comments since it's just targeting white people instead of every other race. Drawing is haram, a sin, in most Islamic sects. There is a huge chance that this person is a Muslim who is trying to say that being a hijabi doesn't prevent you to sin apparently. While there's some truth in what this person is saying, I highly doubt that is exactly what the person meant. Yes, drawing and art, especially sculpture, is forbidden and termed as haram in Islam and I have seen quite a number of articles that have explained this in numerous ways. While some have also tried to explain it saying art is only bad and haram when it is used for bad purposes. 
but I really can't say for certain what you should do if you're a Muslim artist and you find yourself in this position. The best I can suggest is for you to do research for yourself, ask questions and come to conclusions of your own. I think people should try to understand or just think about different contexts of a situation before leaving comments on people's posts. Since it's social media and everything is online, you literally can't predict how a person is going to interpret what you meant even if you are coming from a place of good intentions. You can always try to compliment people without coming off weird or abusive or just giving a backhand compliment. Everyone enjoys receiving compliments and artists are not left out at all. You have no idea how long it takes to develop and grow skill as an artist. So the slightest compliment can make an artist day especially if it is genuine and wholehearted and please don't try to bring in religion into the mix when complimenting an artist's work or in this case a muslim artist for that matter since it's already an issue just being a muslim and practicing art and then you coming to compliment them and talk about their clothing is just weird to be honest so let's all just try to be good to the next person online and offline and compliment people wholeheartedly anyway i'm glad you made it to the end of the video if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like subscribe to my channel if you are new here and if you enjoyed the videos and want to support the channel or help an african prince you can always buy me a coffee using the link in the description i'll see you in the next video peace